So how do you feel about boundaries? It's a legitimate question. A lot of people come to me really struggling with this concept. They often feel guilty for setting boundaries or they're not sure about even what a boundary is. You know, they've heard the term, set the boundary, things like that, but that's really confusing for them because it's not something that's well taught in our society nowadays, right? They know that boundaries are really important to having healthy, constructive, supportive, and wonderful relationships, but why? And oftentimes they also know that they feel like their boundaries are being violated, but they can't quite pinpoint what the boundary is that's being violated. That's why I've created the Clarifying and Creating Your Boundaries free PDF. You can find out what your boundaries are, how to tune in to what the boundary needs to be, and how to effectively create and communicate your boundary so that way you stay in this place that respects you, respects the other person, but also gives you the confidence in your boundaries so that way you stop being gaslighted, disrespected, and unseen. So having your boundaries really clear gives you a voice and also helps the other person stay in accountability with themselves. So that's not a role that you have to take on anymore. So if you are ready to really have clear boundaries, to really understand what your role is in the boundary, and to give yourself some safety and some protection against people that might try to gaslight you or are just being disrespectful, go grab my Creating and Clarifying Your Boundary PDF at AaronAndersonTheTraumaCoach.com. And while you're there, let's schedule a call with me. Come have a chat with me so that way I can really, really help you master this particular skill, creating boundaries, clarifying the boundary, communicating that boundary. And so that way I can also help you have relationships that show up to support you, cherish you, and love you. Hey everyone, it's Erin Anderson with the Erin Anderson Betrayal Trauma Coaching. I am super excited that you have tuned in today. Let's get talking about how to heal from betrayal trauma. Welcome to the other side of the struggle. This is a podcast where we talk about trauma, how to heal it, and then how to take it and use it to unlock your mission and your potential and to use it to live your very best dream life. When you're dealing with betrayal trauma, it can be hard to know how to heal it how to stop the pain, and to know what your next steps are to take in your own life. And these are the questions that we try to answer here. Trauma has the ability to rob us of our joy and identity, which is why it's so miserable to experience. But with the right tools and with the right mindset, we can totally reclaim that joy and even use this trauma to strengthen ourselves so that way trauma does not knock us off of our joy again. Living your dream life should be a non-negotiable, but trauma tends to try to negotiate that with you. And even though trauma is not something that we will completely ever be free of in our life, the pain is negotiable. This is why I created Erin Anderson Betrayal Trauma Coaching and this podcast is because I want my listeners, I want my clients to live, truly live free from the prison that trauma can put you in. I want you to live on the other side of the struggle.
Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Other Side of the Struggle. We have with us back the fabulous and so much fun Bronwyn. And last week, we chatted about your threads of gold in your trauma because, honestly, every single entrepreneur I know, right, has had some type of trauma. They still have trauma. And once they start moving those blocks... That's when the flow of money comes in. And that's where this piece number two comes in. This is where we're talking about like the flow of money today and how money shows up in our lives in a very divine way. And Bronwyn is just very, very gifted with this type of a thing. And since there's also a lot of money story that comes with, you know, anybody's trauma. I felt like Bronwyn was a great person to bring on and chat about this. So welcome, Bronwyn. Thank you. Well, I'm excited to be here because I get to read Aaron's Moneymaker Trio today. And I want to explain to you, just lay the foundation of what that is and, and uh, you know, how I came to coin the phrase Moneymaker Trio in the first place. So I love the tool human design. I use it as a tool. Some people treat it kind of um, like the end all be all. I look at it as a tool through my Christian lens and it's super helpful for assisting us in accepting ourselves and the way that God made us because it resonates. It's, yeah. it's really true. It's like on point and it's like, oh my gosh, you're right. I need to stop having a breakthrough trying to be like somebody else and just be this thing that is beautiful about me. Yep. And yeah. And so um, as a Christian, looking through my lens at human design, I see uh, the push and pull of the uh, the lights in the firmament that God put there and, and it interacts and nudges around in our world and on our bodies and creates these beautiful spiritual gifts. I call them gifts. Oh, yeah. um, in human design, they are called gates. And this, I found this book called Human Design by Jenna Zoe. And this is my favorite resource for, um, for looking at these things as gifts because that's what she calls them too. So that's the resource I'm going to use to tell you about your design just in a nutshell. I'm going to try to be really brief for you. But um, after we're done, what I'd like to make sure that you know is that I'm open to showing you around your moneymaker trio. And I have made a video so that you can see who you are and how these things push and pull in your body and your life too. Okay. So there's hope you get to know about yourself. Yay. We all love to know about ourselves. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's huge. You know, I'm, I was actually thinking back to rejuvenate you because Bron and I collaborated on rejuvenate you. Right. Mm -hmm. And she brought up the moneymaker trio and, and this human design. And that's one of the biggest things about it is people are so excited to meet themselves. Yes. Right. And that's, yes. that's exactly what this human design does. And, you know, mm -hmm. this is why like so many of these tools are so popular is for this very reason is because we're so excited yeah. to get to know who we are. Yeah. And in my line of work, I'm an intuitive business coach. I work with life coaches, health coaches, and energy healers. Mm -hmm. And they're, especially when they're at the beginning, they're like, I have a message. I, I need to do this. I have a little certification. Um, it's time to get going on the marketing and stuff. And I hear them saying, I just don't know what all my gifts are. And they struggle with it. They're like tripping mm -hmm. over themselves with it. And I'm like, well, I can see Boop, 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 just by right. like knowing you. Right. Right. But some of these things are unconscious. Everybody else can see it, but it's really hard for us to see it and accept it until we get delivered this information in a way that makes sense to us and starts right. to resonate. Right. Right. So, well, do you want to know about yourself, Erin? Yes. I know you've already looked this up. Do you want to know about Erin? <laughs> <laughs> I do want to know this about myself. Fun stuff. I have looked it up a little bit, but I, I'm still curious to hear it from it's another's fun. perspective. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. And I'll go at like, uh, for everybody here, just know that I'm interested in you having a full bodied gratitude for being yourself. Yay. God made me just like this experience. Yes. That's the whole idea. Okay. And what yes. that does is it creates gratitude is the thing that magnets your money to you. If you can live in that state, 
and be like, yeah, this is who I am. And I'm so right. glad. And there's no arrogance in this because you're not comparing no. yourself to anybody else. You're everybody's unique. It's so juicy. Okay. Aaron, you ready? Love yourself. Absolutely. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. So Aaron is, I'm not going to go into too much of this in the video that I put together for everybody. You can learn your type. You can learn what that means in a nutshell. And I give you a resource so that you can go look at all of your gates, your gifts. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, one thing about Erin, I'll tell you, she's a generator. And that means she is born to master her craft. It's a single focus. Let's get like brilliant at this plow ahead and just be really, really, really good at this one amazing thing. There are other people that are born to spin five plates at the same time. That is not Aaron. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I am not. Awesome. <laughs> okay. And she has what we call an emotional inner authority. Inner authority is effectively, and this, this is my language, how your body interprets God speaking to you. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's that the Holy Ghost is showing up in you. It's your body is resonating with the answer that's coming to you. And the way that Aaron feels it is, uh-huh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. It's the yes or the no. So she needs to ask really specific yes or no questions. And also as an emotional inner authority, well, this, this is in relation to her specifically being a generator too. Um, the uh-huh and the uh-uh. Mm-hmm. She can get flowing language. That's not against the rules. That's like an increased gift as you grow in your relationship with God. But that basic, mm, this is, you were born with the ability to feel the uh uh-huh or the uh uh-uh and say, that's for me or that's not for me, right? But the emotional inner authority is in relation to your emotional wave. I think of it like this. So you need to feel the uh uh-huh. So let's say you're going for the uh aha. You want to know if this is a yes or a no, and you're trying to fill it out. And on the high, you're like lit up and it's like, this is a yes, but you need to go all through your whole wave through the meh and through the dumps Yep. to know if it still feels like a yes all along that wave. Yep. And energetically in the ether, what's happening as she rides her wave is stuff is starting to come together into creation and timing is coming together as perfect. Then she'll like feel that "Mm -hmm, this is the right timing. Let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. That feel good. Feel true. Yes. And you know, I'll tell you like one of my biggest struggles, because there's always like a struggle that comes in with these things, right? Mm -hmm. Like that that yes. And then a little confusion, but also a little stubbornness. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know uh-huh. I was like you know I I have things where I'm like oh, do I really want to like it seems like so much work but when I finally get to the other end of it I was like that was so worth it you know mm-hmm. what I mean and that's kind mm-hmm. of what she's talking about here you mm-hmm. know where I have that little bit of resistance but I still do it and it's like oh that was that's why that was mm-hmm. such a good idea you know what I mean mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel for you, emotional inner authority people, because like for me, I'm splenic. I know now I go now. Mm -hmm. And if I don't, my moment is gone. And we're very, very polar opposite. So (laughs) I'm like, man, if I had to wait, I don't know what I'd do with myself, but also I'm designed to not wait. So it's good. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to show this to you. I know if you're just listening to this audio, you can't see this, but in the video, you'll be able to see this. Um, Do you post a video too, Mm Erin? Okay, good. Okay, so this is Erin's design, and I know it's a little bit blurry, but this is basically the map of Erin. And what I'm doing is I'm going to look at three specific, oops, (laughs) three specific things over here. And I'm going to show you, and in the video showing you how to do this for yourself, it's very clear. You can just go and find it. But I'm going to look at the part in her that is her moneymaker zone, is what I call it, her get paid zone. And this is the this strength in her that is why people will trust her and why they will pay her. Okay, so if you're a healer, coach, if you're a business owner of any kind, if you're in any kind of 
money receiving space. Which is everyone. This part of you. Yeah, which is everyone. (laughs) This part of you is why people will trust you as long as you're in a high frequency with it. Okay, Mm -hmm. that's the trick. And with each of these gates, because there is a higher frequency and a lower frequency expression, you'll see um, with these strong things that we're going to talk about that are like, oh, like at the high frequency, this is how you are designed to receive money or to, you know, be trusted. But sometimes people are in the lower frequency expression. I'm going to give you an example. So, you know, this is like the easiest breakthrough you'll ever have. Okay. I like, I've never, right. I love breakthroughs too. (laughs) This is like belief work on steroids. It makes me so happy. So my moneymaker gate, my get paid zone is uh, all about collaboration, all about high levels of integrity, virtue. I, it's very pure. Like it always shocks me when people lie, <laughs> you know, or when they're not being their most honest, <laughs> it's kind of, I'm like, what, you know, aren't we all just like trying to do the right thing and the more, the more right thing all the time, I'm right. always looking for higher levels of like purity all the time. That's natural because that's a really important in human design, they call this your genius zone. Yeah. Like it's a really important part of you. Well, the lower frequency expression of mine is this, this fear that used to actually run my life (laughs) until I figured this out. I was trying to have a breakthrough on this for years. This major fear. I have that somebody, that somebody's going to think I'm all that. Somebody's going to think, I think I'm better than them. That's the big fear. And guess what? It happens because oh, yeah. that level of purity triggers things in other people. It triggers their story. Mm-hmm. And somebody that is confident and like leaning into their gifts. I, I, I was real. I grew up a singer. I was so afraid every time I got up to sing, as soon as I was done, I would just dissolve into a puddle of tears off stage because I was so scared that somebody was going to be, uh, think that I thought that, that I thought so much of myself because I got up there and saying, it's crazy. Right. Anyway, when I, it's, it is, I gotta just say like the, the thoughts that hold us back, Right. Once you get onto the other side of like who you truly are and you really step into your mission and purpose, you step into the power, you step into this knowing. And that's kind of what we're talking about. Right. Mm-hmm. Is, exactly. is, is this very easy. Thing. Mm-hmm. It's so much easier when you can see and, it laid out. Right. Yeah. You. Yeah. And then you look back and you're like, I really thought that. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it's like, wow. I still understand because we do. I mean, these gifts always have a. Uh, it's like the the frequency scale of emotion. Mm-hmm. They always have this up and down. fluctuation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just part of how you express in life. So when you keep yourself in alignment, when you remember who you are, when you have your breakthroughs, right? When you decide your frequency and raise it. And so we're talking about raising your money frequency, right? But really, your how you feel about yourself and your money energy are one and the same. Yep. Oh, mind blowing. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let's look at your get paid zone that for you, if you want to go down the rabbit hole is gate 37 or gift 37. And that is fostering togetherness. So I'm just going to read a little blurb out of this. And then we can talk about how that's showing up in your business right now. Cause I think that you're probably in good alignment, right? So at the surface level, Family time and togetherness is everything. And whether that's your actual family or friends that are family, and you're the one who keeps everybody coming together. Yep. You're kind of the glue. You're the one who invites. You're the party planner. That's true. Gift 37 is happiest at a dinner table. Now I want to, if you have gift 37, I actually talked to somebody who has this gift as her, her get paid zone as well. And it, she's like, I don't resonate with that getting around the dinner table thing, but guess what? She's an event planner. (laughs) That's her (laughs) happy zone. She is still (laughs) gathering people. That's the same idea here. Okay. So don't get Mm -hmm. caught up on, on the descriptive words. It's the, it's the energy. It's just getting the idea, right? 
Yes. Right. Yeah. So your happiest at the dinner table surrounded by your people. This kind of togetherness is what sustains community and closeness. And there's a very undervalued gift in this world today. It's a very undervalued gift in this world today. But think about it. We've never been so disconnected. Yeah. And so much of what we long for is to commune. Mm -hmm. So you have a very, very valuable skill. And you've seen it become even more valuable in the coming, you will see it becoming even more valuable in the coming years. Yep. So as you know, with, with anything with the stars, you can actually read ahead and know what energies are going to be held even like in 10 years from now kind of thing, because the sky moves like a clock and it's consistent and it's going to do what it's going to do. Mm -hmm. So the energies of the coming years, this is what they're talking about. <clears throat> Look at our situation right now. Right so disconnected that ain't gonna last no people no. are gonna go screw it no yeah no <laughs> it's doing differently now as a matter of fact like there's talk about like uh you know oh my gosh we're in the last days and mm -hmm. people are gonna raid my food storage like i can't tell you how many times i hear that one brought on i'm like guys calm i'm not down. even worried if they need my yeah. food that bad right like <laughs> it's, it's okay it's okay like calm down honestly what's gonna happen is it's going to generate this. It's going to generate this togetherness. It's going to generate this community, mm -hmm. right? We're going to grow gardens in our yards, you know? Yeah, We're like, yeah. Together yeah, we... and, like, like totally coming together to support each other, like, education, like, everything like that. There's so much power in numbers. Because mm -hmm. if you think about it, if you guys ever go to, like, a, like, a war dinner or a church dinner or anything like that, how much food is left over after a church um. potluck? Mm -hmm. tons because there's abundance like stone there. soup <laughs> right yes. so much so because there's abundance yeah. there so much it, anyway yeah we're not going to be like loners trying to figure that out with the whole world i can see how some people can imagine it's the it's the movies the apocalyptic movies that people mm -hmm. have made for us to you know fear monger our minds about how you know there's not even people are going to pay for things with soap. <laughs> it's so <laughs> scarce. I just doubt it, my friends. With squares I'm, of toilet paper, I like guess. COVID, right? No, we're not stupid. <laughs> no. We'll go and figure it out together. Yes, yeah. we will. Yes, we will. <laughs> so at the deeper level, you're here to model true togetherness, to model it which is not based on who's higher and who's lower, who's cool and who's not, but warmth and openness to everyone. For those with gift 37, this is your time. Society today is so fractured and separated and you are here to glue it back together with this consciousness of inclusiveness. Okay, live it, breathe it, model it in your own life. I love it. I love that up. <laughs> No, I too. I like. I'm writing these down actually because, like, yeah. why not? Game the game. way to flex it in a nutshell, she says, get rid of any sense of hierarchy in your mind. And there's a difference between hierarchy, like king, duke, mm -hmm. you know, and leadership. We know that there must be a leader. There must be the first. There must be yes. the inviter, right? So there's a difference between hierarchy and seeing yourself as better mm -hmm. or more powerful or whatever than somebody else and seeing yourself as uh, the leadership role that you're here to. to yes, it, and it's, it's so true. And the thing is, is you have to be able to see yourself as a leader, mm -hmm. right? That's mm -hmm. a really impact. That's such a powerful thing. And this is why I'm saying like, this is more of that. Let's meet yourself kind of a thing. Yes. Right. There are some gates that are specifically like this. The seven my, my zone is a specifically a leadership gate, but it leads with your with your arms behind around somebody's back. Come mm -hmm. on, going together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I it kind of that. leads from behind. I think of it like in a circle. It's all about collaboration. Mm -hmm. You go together. We all play our roles. We're all doing it together. Right. Mm hmm. So works for me but yeah this come get at my table everybody we're gonna talk we're gonna communicate we're gonna hug i get to see you <laughs> let's then, do it yeah and then the other way to flex it she says is to be inclusive of yourself yes 
And I'm going to tell you how to block it. One word, codependence. Mm. Okay. You know, what's interesting. That has definitely shown up in my past before, you mm. know, mm-hmm. and that it probably even still does a little bit because when you have those types of patterns, mm-hmm. right, they don't just yep. immediately go away. You actually have to train your brain out of them. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, to do that. It's what it's like. So it matters what books we listen to, right? It matters what what movies we're watching. Are we watching movies that are personifying or expressing or what's the word I want? Exemplifying codependence as a healthy relationship thing. So easy for them to do that in the the rom coms, right? Most so easy. So don't don't feed that stuff to your brain if this has a tendency to be tendency to be the low frequency expression of your specific gait, (laughs) right? Yes. right right take care yes. of your mind yes mm. agreed agreed I'm writing all this down <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm going to move on to your message zone this is the energy of your throat so think of your throat chakra mm-hmm. this is your this is why people will be able to hear you when you're in a, a an aligned frequency with this gift your voice will go out to the people that your voice is here for, and they will be able to hear it. Okay. And think of this as an energy. I call this your marketing zone, your message mm-hmm. and marketing zone. Mm-hmm. Um, it's an energy. It's not a topic. It's going to influence your topic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I say that because God put your topic in you. If you feel called to a topic, and you're trying to build your business around it, then you're going to utilize these gifts in order to support that topic. And I, I see a lot of people that I work with on this that are like, but I'm, but I want to talk about this. And I'm like, then do it with this supportive energy. So I just wanted to preface there. Okay. This is your gift, an ideas person. Gift 11 is a person who is constantly being flooded with new ideas. Whether that be for products, services, or creations, you are given this gift to be a receiver of concepts and ideas from source, not just for yourself, but for others too. That's so, so true. Mm-hmm. So all these ideas you share in your podcast, right? Yeah, all these ideas, but I got to mm-hmm. tell you, this was so cute. There was a gal to at rejuvenate you, right? Mm-hmm. And she was wanting to get into the the coaching space a little bit, right? And she had done like all of these different uh, rescue kind of hats, right? She'd been a police officer, she'd been a first responder, she'd been a firefighter, she'd been, you know, like all these different things. And I'm like, you okay? You've just basically listed your archetypes right for your coaching business like this is what the policeman does this is what the fireman does this is what you know and she will totally went away and she actioned that and started getting clients right and it's just because of that very thing mm-hmm. right you're right mm-hmm. I totally do hear like the ideas in people's stories and I'm like go try this and like they turn around and start creating serious cash mm-hmm. I so love cool. that <laughs> I know it's let's awesome let's go receive <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can make a career out of this alone because the world is so in need of new, better products and services that will help create more beautiful, happy, well, uh, a more beautiful, happy, well-functioning world. Um, These ideas don't come into your head as words. They come in as abstract flashes of insights and images. Mm -hmm. So the thing is about this, it's such an intuitive in the moment type of thing. That's why I think it's perfect that you do a podcast and you just like let it come out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So All these ideas come to me right now. Okay. Translating energy. So you're translating energy into form. That's your work. Mm-hmm. You're taking that and you're like giving it to people or putting Ooh. those ideas into play for yourself. Like sit in that energy for a second. How cool yeah. is that, right? And just yeah, that's huge. Okay, so very much a trans. Uh, what's the word? My favorite word: transformational. Gate gift. Okay, here's how to flex. Clear your mind. 
don't pressure the ideas to come and differentiate who they're for. Mm. Yes. Oh, that's yummy. And to block it, doubt the validity of the potential. (laughs) So just cast out doubt and you're good. Okay. Yeah. It's one. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So (laughs) this is definitely pinning a few things. All right. Let's do this. Okay. The third gift in the Moneymaker Trio is all about how you get things done. This is what I call the get to work zone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get her done. Your way of getting it done. So uh, imagine you're you're with a client. Mm -hmm. Like this is your work. Okay. Your way of getting it done is to go within. So at the surface level, people with this gift are people who need a lot of alone time. Filters. (laughs) Yeah. So you're you're gonna get a lot done by being alone too. But imagine helping other people learn this skill. Mm. in your work okay Um, and remember this is an energy not necessarily an action itself even though it's very much about action if that makes sense I don't want you to box yourself in okay okay there's a much deeper reason to it Uh, they are people whose life path leads them to shut off the noise from the outside world and connect to all the forces and things in the world that can't be seen do you do meditations with people oh yes that's this sketch okay a lot a lot Mm -hmm. usually this genius expresses expresses and shares itself through writing speaking and teaching (laughs) all three (laughs) yeah writing and music too singing all those things always looking for the deeper meaning behind the message Mm -hmm. there's something back there the wisdom in it you also have the one in your profile, which means you need to know everything and how it ticks and how and how to explain it and how it works and everything. Not everybody is like that, but you and I have that in common. Yes, <laughs> that would be another truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's how to flex it. Don't feel guilty about your need for downtime. Yep. And understand that it's how you access your other gifts and insights. Mm. I was going to say, I bet you anything, I was going to think that it was shame. That was the blocker on that one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what blocks taking lots of downtime, but filling it with stimulation? Yeah. What does that look like? Let's just talk about that because I think a lot of people do this and dissociate. Mm-hmm. So in if you have this gift, you're, you need like, just stare at the wall. (laughs) Don't stare at your phone. Don't stare at the TV. You know what I mean? Just Mm -hmm. allow yourself to be with yourself Mm -hmm. in yourself with God. And then those things will start to settle in and you'll be like inspired with all the other things. Yes. So lots of downtime, but filling it with gaming or anything at the computer or your phone or whatever, even like I used to just talk on the phone all the time. And this totally numbed this gift, but this is a recharging gift. Yep. If you'll be still with yourself, it actually recharges your battery. Mm -hmm. Okay. It does. It very much does. And, you know, this is also where you get a little bit into the meditation, you know, just kind of watching like what your mind does and what you feel like being very Mm -hmm. present with yourself. Yes. Right. Yeah. And that's why you need the alone time is because mm-hmm. otherwise it's distraction. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. What was the number on that one again? That was, third, let me make sure. Yeah. 33. 33. All right. Very good. That's your it. trio. Do you want a bonus? Yes. Okay. <laughs> There's this the, up at the top of this little chart here. And by the way, when you pull your chart from the video that I'm letting you have, um, it looks different than this app on my phone, just so you know, and, but it's the same idea. Okay. So these two, there's such a glare and it's blurry. I hope you can kind of get the idea. These two at the top, that's your sun right there. And this is your, the red side is your unconscious and the black side is your conscious. So mm-hmm. the gift that it, that's in your consciousness 
is the gift that you know about yourself. And the gift that's in your unconsciousness is everybody else knows, but sometimes you have a hard time accepting it. Okay. So you have in this zone, the sun, Mm -hmm. this is how the sun is. You're designed for the sun to shine on you. So yours is 40 and nine. And give me a second to pull it up. So 40 is the giver. <clears throat> that doesn't surprise me. You're designed to want to work hard and generously share the rewards you receive in return for this hard work. So that's one way the sun is designed or one way that you are designed for the sun to shine on you. Basically, everybody's going to see that about you. And the other one was nine momentum creator. Easy to focus and dedicate themselves to making the dream happen. They pay attention to even the tiniest elements that contribute to getting them there. That's true. So like your people will see you because you're in the bright light of the sun, right? People will see you for being somebody who helps them get all the way to their goal and creating that momentum. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Creating it's all about systems and stuff. <laughs> it is. It is. And, you know, getting organized. Like that was one of the things like for me having to get myself organized was quite an experience, but it was one of the things that was stopping that, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you get, when you've dealt with a lot of trauma, like I don't want to make it sound like, you know, if you're dealing with a lot of heavy stuff, go out and clean your whole house. Though you totally could. It's, it's more like kind of what we're talking about a little bit more of just organizing who you are. Like getting mm-hmm. the idea of who you mm-hmm. are, right? Yeah. Really appreciating that person. Because, yes. um, you know, when you accept all truth, you accept yourself because you are truth. Yes. Oh, I got to tell you, one of the fun things I did for myself when I first got started and underneath the video, when you go get that video, there's a PDF that has um, all of the, just a nutshell version of, Um, each of the gifts with the higher frequency and lowest frequency expression. Mm -hmm. But I took all of my gates, all of my gifts with the highest frequency expression. And I created myself a, this is me statement. Mm -hmm. And it just filled me up. I love that thing. Yes. (laughs) Like I am the wisdom. Well, I am the, you know, I am the, what was that? There's all these different titles in there that, that I pulled from this really smart woman's blog. You go walk, look at her blog too, because she's got more on there. I only took little pieces, <laughs> but I compiled that together so that you could just kind of start knowing yourself. I have the link to her blog in that document. So you can go look, but do you want to know how to get your moneymaker trio, how to get the. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. please, Because that's important. People need to know. Yeah. Just say moneymaker trio, please. In the comments. And I will private message you the link so that you can go watch that video free. Yes. What if they're listening on the podcast? How do they get it then? Because they won't be able to do the comments. Then you will need to send them the, the video. <laughs> then I'll have to send it to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it'll be in the description below, guys. Um, the Moneymaker Trio that Bronwyn has. We'll make sure that that is in there as well. Perfect. And let me say this last thing. Okay. There's a couple of things. You know, we're talking really deeply about one of the most precious elements of my healing story, and that was the day God showed me who I was, right? And I didn't have this human design. Like, it so totally resonates Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with everything he showed me, right? But honestly, what he showed me was, um, it was like a vision, and, uh, I would, he, he walked me up to this like panel and it was dark and there were, there's, there were all these lights and off to the side of the lights were, was like this beautiful tree and like all the lights were somehow attached to this tree. Right. And so, um, he went and he was watching the wall for a second and there, there was one little ball of light that wasn't really moving a ton. It was very kind of still. 
but it was just like igniting and almost kind of like exploding and it would cause um the other little balls of light around it to to grow brighter and to and to act in in certain ways right Mm -hmm. and i watched him take that little ball of light down and he says this is my daughter Mm -hmm. right that little ball Mm -hmm. of light was me right because it's like you're saying you know that just sitting in that deep wisdom you know, without the screens, without all the distractions, everything like that, that's so important, Mm -hmm. especially for someone like me, right? Mm -hmm. Because wisdom is definitely one of my gifts, Mm -hmm. right? And, you know, when you understand yourself this well and this deep, you tend you tend to have a deeper appreciation for who you are and mm-hmm. awe. Like I'm like, are you kidding? That's me. That's so cool. Yes, right? that's what I mean. That full right? body gratitude. It's like, yes, this yes. is my combo. Oh my heck. Like, wow. <laughs> Thank God, you. You did a good one, right? <laughs> yes. yes. And what is amazing about it is when you understand yourself in that way, you begin to understand God. Mm-hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And true. So true. And you don't feel that until you're there. And it's like, whoa, what was I missing? Mm -hmm. So amazing. So amazing. So amazing. Mm Ah, I love it. I love it. So if you want to find your gifts faster. Yes. Or how to make such a struggle. How to make money with your divine gifts, right? Like, just use those. Yes. 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 Yep. I support yourself. Oh, I love it. I love it. Bronwyn, thank you. I'm like lit up. I'm like ready to go do some fabulous stuff today. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you for being on again with us. And again, uh, everyone, go to check out Shaoli Hope uh, online. It's S H A Y O L I dot com. Yep. Yep, go check that out. Is it on the website, the Money Maker Trio, too? I actually took it off because it's kind of weird for people to come across that without having some context first. Uh, so we give it out at events, and I give it out on podcasts. Like things like this, okay. Mm-hmm. So, I'll gra- so I'll grab the link, definitely. Uh, I'll have it in the comments below. Go grab that, you guys, because every person on this planet should know how to create more income from for themselves mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. as themselves as, as themselves. themselves yes in authenticity with themselves yes i agree thank you so much Bronwyn. thanks and, for having me yes <laughs> so good until next week you guys i'll see you on the other side bye okay So I've got a question for you. Have you joined my free Facebook group or Instagram page yet? If you haven't, go and do that. And this is the reason why. I always post my freebies, updated information, and all kinds of goodies for my community in that page. I'm also really active. I post videos. I answer questions. So if you guys really, really want to get in and interact with me, go like me on Facebook. Go join my group, The Other Side of the Struggle, Healing from Betrayal Trauma. Come find me on Instagram, Erin Anderson, Betrayal Trauma Coach. And come follow me because I always have something good there just for you, my audience. And I love connecting with you there. I also post any time that I have groups going on. I talk sometimes about my programs. So if you guys are interested in working with me or even just following me and getting as much free content as you possibly can, go hang out in my group. Go connect with the ladies that are there. Um, Also come and join Immune and Unashamed uh, for those married couples that are following me because in that group, me and my business partner, Kaisen Kid, are also talking and offering some great content.
Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today and listening in on this podcasting episode. Don't forget to tune in next week. It's going to